it's JJ from One to Share Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. And today I am back with another episode of You Ask, We Answer, the series where we answer the questions that you leave us in the comments section of our videos. And I have all the questions in our red bag here. So let's just get started. Okay, so this question is from Aaron Aaron. Ooh, you have two first names? That's cool. And it's the same name? Amazing. So, pertaining to the video, is it possible to only speed up part of a shot, not the whole thing? So I believe what Erin is referring to is a video when we talk about speed in videos. And yes, so now with speed ramping in Filmora 11, it is definitely easier to control the speed of your videos. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. Just select your clip in the timeline, click on the speed icon and choose speed ramping. Here, choose customize. In this window, move the playhead to place the marker in the times one level where you wanna keep the normal speed. Then add markers higher up where you want to speed it up. And that's how you can control speed in Filmora 11. Play around with it, it's really cool, check it out. Let me know how you do and how it goes. So this question comes from Philip Klauza. Ooh, and his name is spelled Philip with a F-I-L-I-P. That's cool too, wow, okay. Hi, I got Filmora license on my Windows. Now I have MacBook. Do I have to buy Filmora license for Mac OS too? So yes, so Filmora licenses are desktop specific, which means that if you buy a license for your PC, it will not work on a Mac OS. So that means that if you now have a Mac OS, you won't be able to use your PC license. You will have to purchase a new license for Mac. So hopefully that answers your question. Okay, so this question comes from Yo, this emoji, guess, cool. I didn't know you could put emojis in your name. That's really cool. How to make Doctor Strange portal effect editing. So I believe what this person is requesting is to show how to do the Doctor Strange portal effect, which we did do a tutorial on, which I will link in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out. We do a full tutorial on it. It's really cool. Okay, so this question comes from A. Robertson Media, tech, photo, video, car, audio stuff. Very cool. You guys are awesome. Oh, thanks. You make it look so easy. Thank you. Can you please tell me what dimmer lights you were using? Okay, so this video I believe is referring to the um, how to fake fire uh, video. The dimmer light we used was the Aperture Light Storm LS300X. But for the skit, we use a small LED aperture Amaran ALM9. So this question comes from Potter Pot. My question is, if I buy Filmora 10, do I have the option to buy Filmora 11? What I'm saying is, does the Filmora license from Filmora 10 transfer to Filmora 11? Okay, so if you currently have an active Filmora license, what you can do is go to filmora.wondershare.com and click download and it will automatically update your current Filmora on your desktop. So you can go ahead and update to Filmora 11. So next question is from Elizabeth and Briselda. Oh, that's very cool names. Elizabeth and Briselda? I hope I'm saying that right. That's a really cool name. Is it available speech to text for Filmora Mac version? Okay, yes, it is available. So make sure uh, Mac users, if you do want the speech to text uh, feature, make sure you update for the latest version, which is I believe 11.4. You can go ahead to the website and click download. It will override your current software to the latest update. And then you will be able to use the speech to text feature on a Mac. All right, um, this question comes from Beats and Waves. Ooh, I like that name, Beats and Waves. It sounds like a good time. Beats and Waves is asking, I got Filmora, very happy with it, but need help. Can you please, or somebody else, let me know how to set the duration of multiple photos in one go? Now I'm doing one by one. Oh no. <laughs> um, I'm being told to double click on the picture, set the yeah, there's definitely a faster way to do it. And let me go ahead and show you in Filmora 11. Select all the photos in the timeline and click on the stopwatch icon. From here, you can set the new duration. For example, one second and then click OK. And voila, now all of your photos will be set to the same duration. A lot faster than doing them one by one, right? Give that a try and let me know how that goes, um, beats and waves. Because yeah, doing it one by one would not be a good time. Okay, so this question comes from Peter Mangiarasina. 
The speech to text is a game changer for me, but where in the app is it located? Great question. So the speech to text feature is available for PC and for Mac. And let me go ahead and show you where you can find it. You can find the feature on the icon menu above the timeline right here. See? You will need to make sure you have audio on your timeline in order to use the feature. Because otherwise, it's not going to detect any speech or text. So make sure you have your audio um, on your timeline and then click on the feature and it'll go ahead and do the feature for you. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, next question. Okay, so this question comes from UPS News or UPS News. UPS? Like, the post? Wow. <laughs> Can I customize Filmora shortcuts? Yes, you can. You can definitely customize shortcuts and let me go ahead and show you how to do it. Click File and under Keyboard Shortcuts, find the shortcut you want to customize and press the combination of keys you want. And there you go, easy. And that's how you customize your own shortcuts in Filmora. So whatever you're comfortable with, go ahead and try it. Doop. <laughs> okay. Oh, and that is all the questions that we have for today. Thank you so much for asking. If you have any more questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section of our videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next time and keep creating. Bye.